Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix black screen issues on Windows 10. Maybe sometimes you are facing such a problem on your computers. Like black screen with mouse cursor on Windows Startup. In order to fix that issue, at first you have to understand and identify which is the actual problem in your case. Here I have pointed out some reasons, which will help to identify the actual reason behind this problem so that you can troubleshoot this problem very easily. Reason number 1. Black screen appears Windows 10 with cursor before and after login. Basically, this is occurred due to freezing, locks up, stops, and hangs issues of important Windows programs, such as graphics driver and Windows Explorer. Reason number 2. Windows 10 black screen without cursor. This can happen when your system wrongly detects an external HDMI and VGA output. Any of Microsoft OS could experience these issues during Windows startup, including Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and Windows 7. Reason number 3. It could be because of some corrupted install program when a clean installation process is required. Reason number 4. Black screen after Windows 10 update. This can happen much more rarely caused by Windows update component when it needs to be repaired. Reason number 5. Windows 10 black screen appears after waking up from sleep and hibernate. And reason number 6. PC is turned on but display nothing. Basically, this is occurred due to RAM problem, BIOS failure, and hard disk failure. Whatever, don't worry about it. Here's 10 possible fixes of black screen issues on Windows 10 and I am sure this tutorial will definitely help to fix this black screen problem. Well, let's get started. At first, let's try to troubleshoot with easy methods. At first, press alt Control delete key combination to execute an emergency restart because sometimes a simple reboot process can fix this issue. At first, check either a button above or around the laptop or a function combo key to enable and disable the display. As you can see, in my case, function and F6 key combination have given to enable and disable the display. If you have this feature on your laptop, then just press that button or function combo key to turn on the display. At first, press Windows, Ctrl, Shift and B key combination to reset the graphics driver instantly. Basically, this key combination will help to reset your incorrect Windows display settings to default like Windows projector settings and also it will help your system to detect and set a primary monitor. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you solve your problem. At first press Alt Ctrl Delete key combination to open Windows Task Manager. Next go to User tab. Now expand Kind Users Running Program List. Now select Windows Explorer and click on Restart. Ok, as you can see, it's working properly. Now just reboot once, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. Now let's go to the advanced method. At first press Alt Ctrl Delete key combination to open Windows Task Manager. Next click on Files and then run new task. Next, type explorer.exe. Now, check this administrative privilege box to run this new task as administrator. Now click on OK to run. OK, as you can see, it's working properly. Now, you need to set a default startup task scheduler from Windows Registry Editor. Alright, now go to search box and type here regedit. Now run the Windows Registry Editor as administrator. Alright, now expand the HKEY local machine directory. Next, expand software directory. Next, expand Microsoft directory. Next, expand Windows NT directory.
Next, explain current version directory. Next, double click on Windows Logon folder. Next, find out shell and right click on that. This is a string value. Next, click on modify. Now type explorer.exe as value data. If the value data is already explorer.exe, then no problem. If you don't find the shell string value, then create a new string value by right clicking on Windows Logon folder. After that, just rename this new value as shell. Next, click on modify. and type explorer.exe as value data. Now click on OK. Now just reboot once, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. And one more very important thing, if you encounter with fake explorer.exe error, then here's a certain tutorial for you. At first, press Alt Ctrl Delete key combination to advance restart. Now press and hold down Shift button and click on Restart. Next, double shift. Next, advanced options. Next, Startup Settings. Next, Restart. Now press F4 or F5 key to entering in safe mode or safe mode with networking. Next, go to Windows Settings. Next, Apps and Features. Now, uninstall corrupted or malicious program, which you think might have occurred this problem after installing it. After uninstalling, just reboot once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. At first, go to Windows Device Manager. Next, expand Display Adapter. Now, uninstall the Windows Update provided generic graphics driver. Or you can roll back to the previous version graphics driver. Note, rollback option will not available if there is no previous version of graphics driver installed. And one more very important thing, please make sure your graphics driver is updated because most commonly this problem occurs due to outdated and generic display driver. And I will recommend you only install laptop manufacturer provided graphics driver because this is more reliable for your device. Once you've done this process, just reboot once. It will definitely fix your problem. At first, press Alt Ctrl Delete key combination. Now press and hold down Shift button and click on Restart.
Next, troubleshoot. Next, advanced options. Next, try to restore your system from automatic restore point or manually created restore point. This is one of the easiest solutions for this issue. But if your system protection is disabled or you didn't create a system restore point before, then this procedure will not work. Because in most cases, generally a Windows user doesn't know about how to create and use a manual system restore point to protect their system from this kind of problem. However, if you want to know how to create and use a manual system restore point in Windows 10, then here's a certain tutorial for you. At first press Alt Ctrl Delete key combination. Now press and hold down Shift button and click on Restart to go to Windows Recovery Environment. Next, Troubleshoot. Next, Advanced Options. Now select the option Uninstall Updates. Note, if you think might have occurred this problem due to installation of latest quality updates and latest features updates, then just uninstall it from here. It will definitely fix your problem. If your PC is turned on but display doesn't show anything, then this is a totally different issue and it could be because of RAM problem, BIOS failure, hard disk bad sector and hard disk failure. Sometimes a simple BIOS update process can easily fix that problem, so try to upgrade your BIOS. And if you see your PC is turned on but display nothing, then here's a certain tutorial for you. We hope you will like, of course let us know your opinion. If you have any questions then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.